up y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing for weekly automotive mechanical content for the average shade tree mechanic all right so in this video i've had some people ask or you know just just even neighbors you know like how do you keep track of everything that you've done to your vehicles i want to go over uh, my maintenance book for my truck in the past you know if uh, my previous vehicles i've had um countless of other vehicles but i've always kept track of what i've done to it whether it's modifications upgrades oil changes tune-ups anything that i've done to it i've kept really good track of it and my dad does an excellent job too he actually like adds photos into his like uh what he does for his vehicles part part numbers where he bought it um the day that he bought it and just mileage and whatnot i've been doing this ever since high school and uh, I guess I'll show you how to really keep track of the maintenance on the truck. All right, y'all, so it's pretty much just a binder. It's like a one and a one half inch gray ring binder. Anyways, so I start off the very front page, very front pages are the owner's, man, the maintenance schedule for my truck. I just printed this off of online. So maintenance by mile and years. Okay, and then first 7,500 miles with notes that I put on, that I put on for each service. Completed this day, at what mileage, uh, for the oil change, since I'm not going off 15,000 miles, or um, you know what, for the first one, I changed my, my uh, oil at say around 1,000 miles and at six months. So that one has just like a little side note. But everything off to the side, whether it's complete, check mark, um, you know where the depth fluid level was at. Here's 15,000 miles or six months, 22.5 miles, and so it's pretty much just the maintenance schedule. All right. So next, what I have is Def Phillips. Just a page where I can track. I just one of these, you know, plastic covers on it, just to keep it nice and clean because I have spilled quite a bit of stuff, as you can see in the bottom, coffee marks and whatnot. All right. So just the date the amount, the mileage, and then the difference so I can track how much, how many miles can I get off of a full tank of DEF, or and just the brand, and then the number that comes with it. If you haven't seen my video about uh, DEF fluid, go ahead and check that out, so you can always make sure that you get the freshest DEF fluid on the racks at the AutoZone, Auto Parts Store, Walmart, uh, put some good stuff instead of that old stuff, all right, because they won't tell you. Next, I have the maintenance log, as you can see right here. Pretty much just printed off a blank Excel document. I have the first column for date, second column for mileage, and third column is the action. Okay, so date, bought car, mileage 68, all the way down to 10 October 18, 10,022 miles, AMSOIL. Uh, what kind of oil I use, six signature series, six times protection, 5W40, oil change with Mopar MO285 filter. All right, so got a lot on that. Next, I have just a plastic file for, say, the uh, oil changes. All right, and so I have, there's two slips in here. One's the AMS oil for my latest oil change, and then just the receipt for the for the previous oil that I purchased and filter off of, I guess, Amazon. There it is right there. So every time I do oil change, I'll print off the invoice of the receipt, throw it in here, and I can track. And you know, if there's any warranty issues, they'll be like, all right, when'd you change your oil? Um, I'll be set to go. I'll be good to go with that. Next are pages of just all the stuff I have purchased for the truck to include, you know, running boards, uh, decals, stuff like that. Just everything that I've done to the truck, I have the invoice for. All right, so moving on and everything, for example, uh, except for that one, you know, but I, I would put, all right, installed this date at this mileage. All right, so, all right, so here's the invoice for, for the remote start that I got installed at the dealer. So here's the dealer invoice receipt, and here's the receipt that I bought off of eBay, uh, pretty much the invoice of what I, of what I uh, purchased. All right, same, just some more stuff that I've bought for it. All right, and I did have one, I think here it is right here. All right, so the, here is my 7,500 7, mile service or six month 
service as you can see right there uh, again this is all by date all right and mileage so that's why there's a bunch of stuff before here's the service and then I have some other parts that I bought after this all right so here's the receipt all right uh, even bought or plugged in the receipt for grease grease tube so this is you know just um, I did grease my front drive shaft fitting all right here's proof for a tire rotation uh, receipt from the local place that did it you know 73.95 miles rotated four tires 40 bucks all right and here's just all my side notes of what I what I did for the service tires rotated from right to uh, rear to front front to rear a tire shop receipt attached um, lubricated front drive shaft fitting with Lucas red and tacky and injector needle inspected front end no leaks everything looks good um, oil change given on this date at that mileage so the next one I do till this date or uh, this date or this mileage or this hours you know so very in depth I doubt I'm gonna have any issues if uh, something does go wrong but essentially here's my insurance here's everything that I've done on the truck I plan on keeping this for quite a while and so it's it's important to me that I track everything that's done that's been done with the truck or you know even when I sell sell it like in 40 years if I do sell it anytime soon that whole binder is gonna be like probably a three inch binder a four inch binder and uh, with nothing but invoices nothing but background I mean that it's that's its shop records that's its passport that's everything thing, everything that's been done to the truck and so I, I believe that'll help with you know with the resale um, just being able to sell it easier compared to another truck that's in the same condition same mileage but doesn't have a big old three four inch binder of stuff that's been done to it so uh, it's important to me if you're into that too I highly recommend coming up with your own system. That's just my system. So if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and let me know below. Again, if you're not a subscriber to my page, please consider subscribing. Uh, until next time, ciao.